Shalom. <coughs> Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory <coughs> to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakodash. Also, as well, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well to this very day. That is continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And also, as well, Shalom to the whole elect that's continually laboring his work. And also labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure and faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity. All right. And, um, you know, it's going to this topic of the video is going to go over uh, uh, the Passover, which uh, which took place or actually we're in the midst of the Passover in which we had the uh, holy, holy convocation uh, Wednesday evening, you know. You know, uh, contrary to what, you know, other people think that the Passover is on, especially these other camps, you know, um, I know some of them, you know, they uh, are going to celebrate or should I say they're going to uh, commemorate uh, the Passover on Friday evening, you know, because they believe that, you know, um, the Sabbaths come in from Friday evening to Saturday evening, which is not true. OK, because they're going by the, the calendar, which is uh, put in place here in America, which is based off of the uh, Gregorian calendar, all right? Because this is the calendar that the people are following right now, which is the Gregorian calendar, all right? But, you know, concerning uh, the Passover, you know, going back to the topic, is that, uh, you know, the Passover, you know, it's not just one day that, you know, you just have a holy convocation and that's it. No, it, it, the Passover, really, the Passover really is the, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which lasts a week, okay? That's the Passover, all right? And again, you know, this lasts, you know, a whole week all the way until uh, next Wednesday, uh, next Wednesday evening, okay? And, um, you know, during this time, you know, you're not supposed to eat anything with leaven. Um, you know, anything that has leaven and agents, you know, you're not supposed to eat that, you know? And also to take that out of your household, okay? But, um, you know, pursuing on to the, the topic of the video, you know, this, this, you know, Passover, you know, is uh, was really spiritual. You know, each Passover is always spiritual, you know, but this one in particular, you know, is, is more heavy because, uh, you know, things that you've been seeing, you know, going on today is all pursuing a prophecy. OK. And, you know, the Lord is turning things up. That's why the uh, Apostle of Tahar coined this year as the year to turn up. All right. And we, we've seen that, you know, um, you know, speaking from a person uh, as a as a you know personal witness, you know, and the brothers here in, in um, my area, they saw the same thing. You know, basically, we saw uh, uh, two rainbows, you know, that was uh, next to each other. OK, you know, one was, uh, <clears throat> you know, at one end, it was it was just completely full. You know, it, it was bright, you know, and that happened right before the Passover started, you know. So that lets you know, man, the Lord, Yahweh about Shemel Shai is, is getting ready to destroy this place, man. All right. Because that's what was going on during the time of uh, the Passover when we was in Egypt. OK. Because uh, that's why I got the screenshot right here. All right. Because that's what uh, this is the custom of our forefathers of what they did in the land of Egypt. Um, when the Lord commanded our people to uh, take uh, the blood of the lamb, you know, take the hyssop and dip it in the blood and, and then, um, and strike the blood on the doorpost of your house. Okay. And you know, that house, you know, that, that, rep that represents us. Okay. Cause when you go into the word house, it goes back to the word, uh, bodeg. All right. That's where you, uh, that's what the word body comes from. All right. You know, body comes from, uh, the word body comes from bodeg. Okay. Which means house. All right. So to take the blood of the lamb, which that lamb represents Yahweh Shai, we're to take that, the, the blood of Yahweh Shai and strike it on the doorpost. That's talking about our minds. OK. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shai, the reason why the Lord had our people do that is because the Lord was, was getting ready to destroy the firstborn of uh, the firstborn of all the one, all the people that were there in that land. And to be preserved from that, you, uh, our Lord commanded us to take the blood of the lamb and strike on the doorpost. Okay, and while that was going on, 
right? You know, you had uh, wailing in the, you know, wailing in all areas. You know, the Egyptians were screaming. You know why? Because the death angel, all right, passed through the land of Egypt and killed all the firstborn. Okay. And uh, guess what? You know, the Lord now in this time, since you know we are uh, rehearsing the righteous acts, you know we um, perform the Passover. You know, this is this is uh, us. The reason why we do this. You know, it's because not only are we rehearsing the righteous acts, but also as well to be preserved from the said perils and plagues that the Lord is about to bring upon America, which is Babylon the Great in the Bible. OK, because guess what? Meanwhile, we was having the Passover. You know, these people that, that are here in this land, you know, they, they're doing all manners of, of wickedness, man. You know, have no cares in the world of what's going on, you know, but the ones who are uh, <clears throat> the ones who are in the know. And have been given the wisdom and the knowledge which is within the scriptures all right we're we're being made preserved from the death the mass death that is coming okay and that death angel which was passing through the land of egypt which that death angel is going to make a, a, a second coming right that death angel is yahweh shai okay He's the one who's gonna. Who, he's the one who has put the death, the firstborn, of all the first uh, of all the the Egyptians. And guess what? He's gonna do it once again. All right. But in this uh, in this time, you know, he's going to destroy these modern day Egyptians, which is all uh, these these Edomites. In which, when you read on uh, Isaiah 19 chapter, you know, it tells it, it explains that Esau Edom, you know, is also a, um, or should I say Egypt. Or the Egyptians is a buzzword for these Edomites, right? If you're going to read Isaiah the 19th chapter, okay? So, and also as well, Revelation is the 11th chapter, all right? Where it says of the city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, all right? And see, that's what uh, the Lord is going to go forth or, and go through the, the land of Egypt once again, which, like I said, you know, which represents his place, and he's going to destroy these people that do not have the blood of the lamb that are, that is struck on the doorpost. Okay, so I'm going to to the precepts. You know, I didn't mean to ramble on that long, but um, but that pretty much hits the point. You know that 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 is what we're doing. You know, we we have taken the blood of Yahweh Shai and um and we have uh, struck it upon our doorpost, which again is our mind. Okay. Uh, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 12, and this is at verse uh, 21. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take you a lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. And ye shall take a branch of hyssop, in which the Passover is talking about the, the lamb, okay? Because, uh, like I said, you know, the lamb is uh, symbolic for Yahweh Shai, all right? Because Yahweh Shah is set forth to be that lamb to be sacrificed, okay? And through that the shedding of that blood, okay, we have been delivered, okay? Because that sacrifice is made sufficient for uh, the nation of Israel, okay? <clears throat> uh, verse 22, it says, And ye shall take a branch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lentil in the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin and none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning for the Lord Yahweh Bashanel shall pass through to smite the Egyptians and when he seeth the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer say the destroyer that's a key buzzword to come in unto your houses to smite you and ye shall observe this thing for ordinance to thee and thy sons forever. And that's why we still do that to this very day. But like I said, you know, we're not physically doing that, you know, taking the blood, of, you know, you know, killing a lamb and then um, taking the blood and smiting our doorpost. No, no, that, that spirit is it's spiritual now. Everything that, that's being done today in this time that we're living in is spiritual. OK. <laughs> so and that's what we've done through the spirit. OK. And so now the destroyer is about to come, come into this land, all right, 
And if he doesn't see the the, the blood of a, of a, if he doesn't see the blood, then guess what? He's going to destroy the people that don't have it. Okay. And that blood is the covering, man. That's, that's the covering from um, this coming destruction. Okay. Um. Yeah, but let me uh, go ahead and hop on to the next precept. Because uh, remember, we read Destroyer, right? It said you would not suffer the Destroyer to come into your house. Okay. Um, this is Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 7. It says, the lion is come up from his thicket. And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. All right. That lion represents Yahweh Shai. And he's also known as the destroyer. Okay. The destroyer of the Gentiles. Okay. And guess what? That's what that was going to happen. The Gentiles, because the Gentiles, when you go into it, you know, it, it does mean, the first definition means that um, it's someone of another nation. But, also, as well, the, uh, that word Gentile, or the term Gentile, all right, is representing an Israelite foreigner. Okay? But in this uh, scripture, it says he is the destroyer of the Gentiles. So it's talking about the natural Gentile. All right? Somebody of another nation. And, and, and guess what? Uh, Two-thirds of our people are lumped into that as well. I'm going to get that in a second. All right? It says uh, the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy city shall be laid waste without inhabitant. All right. Um, let's see if I can get it. Matthew chapter 18 verse 17 it says and if he shall neglect to hear them tell it unto the church but if neglect but if he neglect to hear the church in which the church you know represents this this body that you see today which mainly consists of the uh, the apostles the elders of great millstone on down to the rest of the other brothers of great millstone okay so you have somebody who neglect to hear the church all right then he says let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican all right, so our people, or should I say, uh, the majority of our people, are not even considered a uh, part of this of this fold. Okay, they're regarded as heathen men. Why? Because they have taken unto themselves a, a strange identity. You know, because they have ex uh, they have uh, conformed to the image of Esau Edom. Okay, instead of being conformed to the image of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. <clears throat> but that's what the Lord's going to do. Not only is he going to um, destroy the natural Gentiles, he's also going to destroy the majority of our people. Okay. Now I'm going to go on to the book of Revelations, uh, the 11th chapter. And I'll slide you. Right, so it's uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spirit, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right, see that? So the city, which was residing today, is spiritually called Sodom, right? Because it promotes sodomy. That's why you have uh, rights given to, you know, I will call them circles, but you can't even say the F word. All right. Uh, giving rights to circles and letter in uh, the, the letter people if I can use that term all right because you can't you can't even say alphabet you know alphabet people or alphabet people because uh YouTube of course but um yeah this place promotes that it, it promotes freaks you know and that's what it is you know that's what this is man it's a freak show all right and, and that's abominable in the eyes of our lawyer, how about Shemuel Shai? All right? Because out of that, you know, it, it, it springs all manner of wickedness. Okay? But also as well, it says the spirit, it, the city is spiritually also called Egypt. All right? Because Egypt, um, if you look up the word Egypt, it's uh, uh, Matazar. All right? I believe it's uh, Matazar. Uh, because if you look up the English words, uh, Mizraim. But it's a uh, Montazar, which means uh, bondage to be arrested. 
all right, to be captured, okay? So Egypt literally means bondage, okay? And this place which we reside in today is our place of bondage, a place of, of captivity, okay? And this is what the Lord is going to do to the place of captivity, right? And this is the last piece up. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 15, uh, verse... Uh, Verse uh, 10, it says, uh, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Right? And, and again, you know, uh, the Lord's not going to suffer us to dwell in the land of Egypt. We're just talking about this place. All right? He's no longer going to suffer us to be here. Okay? Verse 11, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched our arm like he did back when we was in, in Egypt. Right? When we was in the Egyptian captivity. Guess what? He's going to do it again. But this time in the land which is spiritually called Egypt. Okay? So the Lord once again is going to bring forth that mighty hand and stretch our arm, right? And reading on, it says, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. All right? So the Lord is going to smite Egypt with plagues as before. Why does it say as before? Because the Lord's going to smite this land, okay, which is spiritually called uh, Egypt, okay. That's the reason why it says uh, the Lord's going to smite this place with plagues as before, okay, and will destroy all the land thereof. So the Lord is is is, is primed to smite this place with plagues and to destroy it out the face of the earth, all right. And the Lord's once again is going to deliver our people, okay. Which is going to be the, the next great exodus Alright, that's what the exodus was about When you read it in the Bible It was about the deliverance of our people Out of the out of the, uh, the land of Egypt Out of the Egyptian captivity And guess what, it's going to be the next exodus Which is going to be delivered Out of this land which is spiritually called Egypt In Sodom, okay And the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai Alright, is going to uh, Deliver us with a mighty hand and stretched our arm Alright, that's Yahweh Shai returning and delivering his people okay and it's going to be done by way of his chariots all right if you read in isaiah 66 chapter in the 15th verse it says that um the lord is going to return with his chariots like a whirlwind all right he's going to return with fire and with his chariots okay and through that you know he's going to deliver us and at the same time destroy these Gentiles, all right, to destroy the Gentiles, okay? So with that, I'm going to close out on that note. Uh, Lord's will is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. To next time, once again, I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh. Bashem, El Shai, Bashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone every world to this day. Shalom, peace and safety, salutations to the whole for elect. Continue really laboring this work and our labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure. In faith, in truth and sincerity, in all charity. And with that, blessing Shalom.